All right, let's now turn attention to the residents of MK Abiola, where eminent Nigerians and pro-democracy activists converged on his um, on converged and are expected to lay a wreath um, at his tomb. They are also expected to make speeches in commemoration of June 12, and that's 30 years after. Let's now bring in our correspondent Emmanuel Ajayi, um, who is covering all of um, that for us. Emmanuel, what more can you tell us at the moment? Who are those um, that are there, and and what's everyone saying at the moment, especially? about um, MQ Abiola and the struggle for democracy. Well, still at uh, Abiola's uh, residence here in Ikeja, Lagos, let me let you know that the event has ended. We have the representative of uh, the governor of Lagos State, uh, that is in person of the deputy governor of uh, the state, Obafemi Amzad. Right now, I'm being joined uh, by the eldest daughter of uh, Moshul Kashimawo Abiola, I'm talking about Honorable Lola Abiola Edel. Many thanks for having you uh, at this time. It's 30 years of uh, June 12 at the moment, and also about nearly about 25 years of your father's death. How has it been with the family at the moment? Well, to the glory of God, we are all doing very well. We have, he left, all of us that he left, none is missing. To the glory of God. We are all alive, we are all well, and um, we're getting on with life. Very interesting there. Getting on with life. So what do you miss about your father? I think it's more like, what do I not miss about my father? Um, everything. He is the head of my family. My, 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 my immediate, he's the head of my immediate family. He was the center of our lives. You know that the man was larger than life. So was he at home. Okay? Um, he was a man that played a major role in the lives of his children. He wasn't just, you know, like you, like people say, you know, fathers throw money at things. They just are financial, just give financial support to their families. No, my father was different. He would come to you. My, my, my friends at school knew my dad. Okay, he would come to PT, and, and, and that's what he did with, with, with his children. He attended school functions, you know, he, you know, he would go with us sometimes, drop us with our, at our friends. So, what do I not miss about him? What do you say about um, one of uh, the front runner of uh, this uh, June 12, who is now the president of Nigeria? I'm talking about President Bola Ahmed uh, Tinubu. What can you say about him and... Uh, what do you want uh, from this administration? You know, um, it's, it's very interesting how um, President um, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's whole journey um, ironically mirrored um, my dad's journey. He had a Muslim Muslim ticket. Um, and President um, Bola Tinumbu was very was a very fundamental part of that journey, the June 12 journey. He was with him every step of the way. He was, you know, President Tinumbu is a man that is very that commits, commits to whatever it is that you know. Once he once he decides that this is a course that he is, you know, once he buys into a course, he totally commits to it. He was with, you know, MKO the whole hog. You know, without, without flinching, the whole hog. And, you know, again, it's also interesting, I find, that he, his um, mantra was renewed hope. You know, June 12 was um, hope, hope 93. He was, he had, it was audacious of him. And the message behind his renewed hope is to say to Nigerians, we attempted fresh hope at some point. It was not allowed to flourish, okay? But don't give up. Hope is still coming. We are renewing our hope in the country, in our country, Nigeria. And that was what, that was what he wrote on, renewed hope. He sold it, and obviously Nigerians bought into it. And, you know, he knew, because he was so pivotal to the June 12 cause itself, he knew what that journey was about. He knew what the end, he knew what the, the drive was about. So really, I'm not at all worried that
that. Because really, I mean... Well, you're, you're quite confident that this administration will deliver. He has no choice. Why would Ashwaju Bala Tinumbu want to be president of Nigeria? He's a very extremely comfortable man. He wants to fly presidential jet. He has his own. All right? All right. So it just, I believe he just wants to prove a point. I think right. he just wants to prove a point that it can be done. Yeah, many thanks, Dick. Thank you very much Thank for you. joining us on the news uh, at this hour. You can see um, I'm sweating profusely uh, at the moment. I have one of the APC uh, chieftain joining me uh, at this time at Ikega resident of uh, late Moshud Kashimawo or Lawale Abiola. I'm talking about Joy Bukwe. Many thanks for joining us on the news this hour. Just in less than one minute, what can you say about the man called MKO Abiola? I wrote the book, Heroes of Democracy, in 1999. And if you go into that book, you will see the volume of work I did. Documenting how he started, how he won the election, the trouble, the deaths, you know, how the voting was annulled. So, I have it all. Your message to Nigerians at this time? Well, um, history will not forget you. Even if you are dead. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you did something. History will not forget you. Right. 30 years after. I still counting. After 30 years after, somebody who was part of that struggle is now the president of Nigeria. Right. Thank you very much. Have you finished? Right. Thank you very much. Because of time, we, have just, we just have to leave it there. You can see I am sweating profusely right here. Well, at the residence of late Moshut Kashimawu, Abiola, like giving you all the nitty-gritty concerning events and happenings in this, in this particular place. Well, over to you in the studio as we continue to cover all that has to do concerning uh, June 12, 2023. Thank you, Emmanuel, for that conversation, especially with his daughter. It, it did drive home the point. Um, I mean, for them, it's a bittersweet memory, missing him as a father but being proud of his legacy, our correspondent um, Emmanuel Ajayi at the residence of MK Wapiola.